I mean, how can we not start off by, by, by talking about the fact that Sam Darnold is going to play a football game this Sunday for the 49ers? I know that's not confirmed, but it, it, it basically is. No one has gone through the concussion protocol in less than a week all year long. I don't know why Brock Purdy would be any different. So Sam Darnold's going to play this football game against the Cincinnati Bengals. And the question is, is where does it go from there? How does it look? Are you excited about it? Like, I think I do think that's kind of interesting. We don't want to make it sound like anybody's happy that Brock Purdy is hurt. That's obviously not the case. But we all have in us this inherent curiosity. And there's been a lot of discussion about this guy. He beat out Trey Lance for QB2. So the idea of getting a chance to see him, I do think interests people. I, I, I do think that nobody wanted Brock to go out, but uh, the curiosity factor will be high on Sunday afternoon. For sure, and also the urgency will be high because you've lost two in a row, and Seattle's now just a half game behind you. And so if you lose to Cincinnati and Seattle wins, well, now you're in second place in your division. And we've all talked about, oh, the quest for the one seed and the quest for the bye and home field in the playoffs and all the rest of it. Well, if you lose and they win, well, now you're into the wild card picture after eight games. Yep. And that's a reality. And that's not me trying to, like, sow fear into the fan base. It's just where you are if you happen to fall to five and three. The spread is moving Cincinnati's way because of the Brock Purdy news. But you and I disagree in terms of Cincinnati and the viability of them as an actual team. And we can get into that tomorrow and on Friday as we get closer to the game. Oh, but I think right they're now. viable. I think they're viable. Yeah, you've been very dismissive. Um, I don't think that they are who we thought they were. You know right. what I mean? Like preseason, this was a top five Super Bowl favorite. But they're better now than they were in early September. Yes, but not whole yet. Sure. Is, is how I would describe okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just I feel like you and I are in different spots, and we can get into that as the week goes on. But for right now, the Brock Purdy news, and we don't know officially that he'll be out, but it feels like it's a 90% chance that he'll be out based on the concussion protocol, the return to play, and all the rest of it. And if it is Sam Darnold and no Debo, and Trent is a maybe at best, yeah. this becomes a tougher game on Sunday on a short week. Of course, of course. Um, this one is going to be a challenge uh, like, like all of them are during this stretch when you start to lose key players, and they, they've, they've lost a bunch of them. But I, I do wonder about people's curiosity factor. We'll take your phone calls. Um, when you heard that Brock Purdy was out, was it oh no, or was it like, huh, this will be interesting? Or the other way to talk about it, I think, is um, based on how this one looks Sunday, that will tell you what. I mean, do you immediately go to, well, this tells me something about Sam, or it tells me something about Brock. I'll give you my answer to that. It's going to tell me something about Kyle. Because that's what we've been hearing. Again, it's one game, so I don't want any total, massive, broad strokes overreactions. But I will tell you this. Sam Darnold, there's one big question for me in Sam Darnold's career. And it is whether, A, he just wasn't cracked up to be the number three overall pick in the draft. Or, B, he's been in, quote, bad situations. And now he's in a good one. Even though it's not as good as even this one is supposed to be, no Trent, no Debo, maybe no Trent, but um, it's still a much better situation. A well-coached team, a winning team, all of those things. So if Sam comes out and looks like the exact same guy his pro football reference page says he is, 58% completion and just about as likely uh, to throw a pick as he is a touchdown, if, if that's who he is, well then... That's enough of all of this, oh, like Kyle Shanahan can just turn a key and make any quarterback look much more viable. But if right. he comes out and lights it up, that is a big feather in the cap of Kyle Shanahan, isn't and it? And also, it's uh, in some people's eyes, it's a demerit to Brock Purdy. Sure. And it's further evidence that he is a system quarterback. If Sam Darnold comes into the same system and plays as well as Brock Purdy and wins a game against Cincinnati – with similar numbers and similar weapons, well, then Brock Purdy maybe is just a system guy. Yeah. 
We're that's gonna, what that's what some will say. We're gonna do this, aren't we? I mean, we're gonna do this. I'm not trying to do it until Monday, but if they beat Cincinnati 31-27, okay. and Sam Darnold goes 24 for 32 for 282 and two touchdowns and one pick, and they win the game, then the whole idea of him being a system guy, it's gonna percolate back up to the system. I know that it will, but Surface. should it? I mean, it's a it's a football game. Right. It's kind of like what I it's think. It's a small sample, my right? Opinion, small yeah, sample it's size. The smallest of samples. Sure. I understand that we've only got one Warrior game, for example, to draw from. Oh, it's over. But come on, people. Come on. I don't even know if it was serious. I walked in today and uh, walk in and Gabe and the, the rest of the sales group are sitting there and they're like, you concerned? Am I concerned? <laughs> they're 0-1. And they lost by four. They against, won't go eighty-two and zero. They, they, they might go zero and eighty-two. So <laughs> they it, played the they played the second favorite in the NBA uh, or third favorite or whatever the hell they are, and they lost by four. Am I concerned? Uh, no, I'm not concerned. I don't mm. know if the question was a joke or not. Right. So is it fair? I I know you're right that it'll happen that way because that's the way social media. And, and and even regular media in 2023 works. Uh, we're going to be here to discuss it. Obviously, we're going to be here to discuss it. But if Sam Darnold goes out and plays well, did I hear you correct? That's a demerit for Brock Purdy? In some people's eyes. I don't think Yours? so. Yours? No, of course not. Okay. Brock Purdy is... What is he, 13 and 2 right now in the regular season? And, or Yes. And I, he is the second rated quarterback in sure. the NFL this he's, year. I mean, he's yeah. been great. He's been great. I do not want, though, to look at his two interceptions and say, well, he was clearly concussed. And so that's, I mean, we're, we're going to go ahead and take those off his ledger. Right. Because they no, happen. Yeah. And he might have been concussed. And that might have led to the two interceptions. We don't know that. But I do know this. If Darnold goes out and plays well, some people will look at Brock Purdy differently and say, well, see, this is, I mean, if Sam Darnold could do that <laughs> in this system with this coach. No, of course that'll happen. I mean, who couldn't? And this is the whole, like, yeah. who couldn't throw to Ayuk and McCaffrey and Kittle argument? Yeah, I, I, of course it's going to happen. I think the right. question, the question is, should it, um, you know, what can we take from, uh, from this weekend's game? But I, I can only speak freely and honestly. Um, I, I Obviously, I'm a huge Brock Purdy fan. I think he's a very, very good quarterback. I want the 49ers to win all their games, and I think this weekend is an incredibly important one. They're facing adversity for the first time. Everyone was waiting for that adversity. It's here. They've lost two in a row. They've got major injuries. Uh, but even with all of that said, yeah, there's a little piece of me that's like, well, this, this will be interesting to see. Sure. I hate that there's a piece of me that feels that way, but – it's true. This is this is going to be interesting. It's very interesting, and you're going to have the backup quarterback. And if you look around the NFL at all 32 teams, I think maybe half of them have had a backup quarterback play a prominent role. Maybe not quite half. It, it might be 12 to 14 of the 32. So it's not that remarkable that they need a backup quarterback here in Week 8 because many teams do already. And, you know, with Kyle Shanahan, he's kind of used to this because in every year but one, he's had to go to a backup and he's had to go to QB3. So, honestly, Kyle Shanahan shouldn't be that unmoored in terms of having to go to a backup quarterback. The system is good, and the players around Sam Darnold, if he starts, are good, and that should be enough to still beat Cincinnati at home. I'm looking around at the uh, the league because we did this uh, last year, right? Like the the, the teams who have had... A player get hurt and uh, and have to miss time. Obviously, Cleveland Browns. Joe Burrow. Uh, he didn't miss a game, right? Maybe he hasn't played yeah, very well. So. Like he was, no. he was very hurt. Uh, Mac Jones has come out, but not been hurt. Uh, the Jets lost their guy. The Colts have lost their guy. The Jets Titan and Patriots for sure. Titans have lost their guy. Uh, the Raiders have definitely lost their guy. Uh, the 49ers are now going to probably lose Brock for a game. The New York Giants have missed Daniel Jones for a period of time. The Bears, Justin Fields, has already been out, of course, one game and yep. is going to miss more. Derek Carr uh, did go out with yep. an injury. 
Bryce uh, uh, with with Carolina. Yeah, uh, he has gone out and uh, and missed time. And let's see. I guess you can count Arizona, right? You have I mean, to their, count Arizona. Their quarterback was gone from the beginning, right? So, so it's about ten, ten to twelve. And so you're not, you know, you're not alone in terms of needing another quarterback, a backup quarterback. And honestly, this is why they went out on day one of free agency and got Sam Darnold. This very reason was in case Brock Purdy's elbow wasn't good, or if Brock Purdy sustained another injury, you would have a very good backup. And, you know, you referred to Sam Darnold as maybe the best backup or one of the best backups in football. So that's where we are in terms of, you know, the Niners. This is why you got Sam Darnold. And now you're going to lean on your big, not your biggest free agency signing, but one of your biggest ones. Yeah. Sam Darnold. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. you know, here we go. go. It's, uh, it is Sam Darnold time for the San Francisco 49ers. What's the first thought that went through your mind when you heard it? Maybe you're just hearing it for the first time now. Again, Brock Purdy is not officially out, but it is, quote, very unlikely that he plays. No player has moved through the protocol that quickly in order to play that coming Sunday at all this year in the NFL. And this is a short week. For the 49ers, they get home late Monday night, and uh, and the concussion symptoms start on the plane.